Good afternoon and welcome to Connecting at Noon on Monday through Saturday at 12 noon. The staff from Church of the Resurrection in Surfside Beach will share something that we hope will be encouraging to you. Today we will pray through midday prayer from the Anglican Church of North America's Book of Common Prayer. Let us begin. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who keeps you will not sleep. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself is your keeper. The Lord is your defense upon your right hand, so that the sun shall not burn you by day, neither the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. Indeed, it is he who shall keep your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from Second Corinthians chapter 5. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the passage we just read from 2 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul is reminding the Christian church in Corinth that they are in Christ and that they are a new creation. Now, in Christ means that a person has union with Christ, thus receives all the benefits of a child of God. For example, in the parable of the prodigal son, the son returns home to the father, and even though he has obviously failed, he has obviously messed up, he is obviously a sinner, even though that is obvious, because he has returned home, and he has relinquished his life to his loving father who already loved him, he receives all the benefits of a child of that family. Now, being a new creation means a person is changed at the core of their being. They have a completely new outlook on life because they are now in Christ. They have been brought into a family, God's family, like a child who is adopted into a family A child in in Christ, in God's family, takes on the personality and character of that family. So Christians, like we see here in 2 Corinthians, have been adopted into God's family. And through the Holy Spirit, they take on the character of God. They have gone from the I did it my way family to the now I live as a child of God because I am in His family. Now, this does not mean that life will be a bed of roses. For these Christians in Corinth, life still had fear, anxiety, troubles. Some were persecuted, killed. There were fights fights among one another. They still had to contend with brokenness, both in themselves and in the world around them. But what it did mean is that they had hope because the promises for God's family were true for them. And friends, that is true for me and for you as Christians today. We have hope because the promises of God are true. Like the promises that we see in Psalm 121. It says that our help comes from the Lord. He will help us. He is your defender. He shall Preserve you forever. He will not let your foot be moved. He keeps you. So as life brings uncertainty, 
Let us cling to the promises of God that are always certain. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us continue with midday prayer. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty Savior, who at midday called your servant St. Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles. We pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to offer your own thanksgivings and prayers. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forevermore. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.